Hello again. Um, this is Renee, and I, today I wanted to talk about my cleaning checklist or cleaning schedule. Something that I do at home to make things easier because I do uh, do professional cleaning as well. So I have several clients that I do from Monday through Friday. So weekends are are my friend because um, that's the time I spend with my family and and uh, do the things that I need to do to relax. Well, um, this checklist that I have, hopefully you can see it. Um, I got this, I printed this checklist off of uh, myloveforwords.com. They have a um, list that you can print off and I wanna make sure to give them credit for that. But typically what I try to do is I try to do one chore or two uh, during the day, every day, except for Saturdays and Sundays so that I can keep my home in order and my priorities are straight. Um, but typically I have daily chores. Um, of course, daily chores are dishes and vacuuming or sweeping, whatever. Um, because I don't have a dishwasher, dishes are a part of my life unfortunately so hopefully I'll be able to save up for a dishwasher and get that under control but getting right into it um, what I usually do is I usually have a throwaway um, that I typically try to put into every cleaning day and that actually goes for mail or things that you no longer need that you want to discard if you have magazines or paperwork or mail that you want to go through on a daily basis um, usually I try to throw them away right away so I, what I'll do is I'll have like a um, item throw away amount and it's usually between 10 to 25 10 to 25 things daily I try to throw away so that it doesn't accumulate and basically okay to start on Mondays on Mondays I usually focus on the kitchen and doing the kitchen that you know deals with doing the dishes of course cleaning the countertops and wiping off the stove the refrigerator and um, wiping the cabinets if they need them and then just basically sweeping the floor and mopping so forth and I usually do that once a week a deep clean so that it doesn't accumulate through the week so since I'm doing dishes every day then the kitchen shouldn't get really messed up unless I'm doing something very drastic so I focus on the kitchen on Mondays and on Mondays I also try to fit in the bathroom because that's the slowest day with my clients so um, I can usually fit in a lot of my priorities at home um, on Mondays on Tuesdays I usually focus on the living room and that actually helps um, because that's the first room that your your people see is the living room so I try to keep that tidy as much as possible and I usually try to do the deep clean on Tuesdays on Wednesdays I do uh, the dining room and this is my dining room so as you can see it's an all-purpose room um, I have my computer my equipment um, everything accumulates in the dining room so the more I can discard if I need to the better because it keeps it less cluttered so I focus on the dining room on Wednesdays on Thursdays um, that is when my son cleans his room and I have five kids but one is still at home so he's 12 and he can actually do the work himself so I don't have to worry about it uh, you see my kitties in the background. <laughs> um, then on Thursdays, I also do the upstairs bathroom. So 
doing a deep clean to the bathroom at least once a week upstairs actually helps because I clean out the tub, the toilets, the, the sink, sweep the floors, organize the towels and so forth. All that gets done on Thursdays. On Fridays, Fridays is a very busy day for me. So I try to do as little as possible at home because it's so, so busy. I usually have two or three clients on Fridays. Um, I also do a food truck um, to help the needy on Fridays. So yeah, that actually helps out if it's just my room I have to deal with. So, um, for my room, I usually change the sheets, make the bed, sweep the floor, put away any clothes that needs to be clean, dust and uh, wipe off the, the nightstands and the TV and the TV stand and so forth. So, that's the day that I, I focus on that. And then on Saturdays and Sundays, those are my rest days. I, I don't do anything except for dishes and sweep or vacuum on, on those days. I do do a throwaway if I need to on Saturdays and Sundays. But in all reality, those are just my rest days and helps me to focus for um, getting ready for the week ahead. So that's what I do. Now, on a weekly basis, I usually focus on vacuuming and um, I also do at least a load of laundry every day. I have an old farmhouse, so <sighs> it's a fixer upper. And the laundry is in the basement. So, yeah, I hate walking up and down the stairs all day long. So, if I can do at least one load of laundry every day, it helps. And if I do it during the week, Monday through Friday, then um, I usually put in the load of laundry before I go to my clients. And then when I come home, pop it in the dryer and then fold and put away as I need to. Once a month, I usually focus on windows, wiping windows and window wells and window sills. And uh, also... Um, cleaning out my refrigerator and about once every three months I clean my oven because I don't really bake that much so cleaning it every month is just not even needed so once every three months does really good it's not very bad during doing it during that time so um, my home is not that big I have at least 1300 square feet so it goes pretty quickly and um, getting things done every day just seems to help a lot so yeah um, in the comments below let me know what you do differently or if this helps at all um, what you would add to your list that I haven't added to mine um, also, if you would post any comments at all, I appreciate all your comments. And if you're enjoying what you see or if you'd like to see more, um, as I said, I do clean homes for a living. So I plan on doing uh, specific cleans to show how it's professionally done later on in the, in the episodes. So subscribe and uh, we'll take this journey together other than that thank you so much for watching and press the, the subscribe button i appreciate all, all of your comments and your views and have a wonderful day